see, let's share this. Is it live right now? Yeah. <gasps> Is anyone on? Mm, I don't know. There's no one here. Do, do, do. that all right hey everybody Amy Miss Susan Pastor Tony good to see you guys today got a, a guest with me days hello boys doing well I'm, uh, I've got some new coffee my friend gave me, Mr. Allen. So good. Pastor George, good to see you. And my mom. There's Mimi. Hey, Victoria. <clears throat> Miss Melissa says, hey. Hi. To Zuzu. To the Zuzu. There's Justin Washburn. Uh, well, I was going to, uh, try to share the video with somebody, but, man, today I don't have anybody's, uh, nobody's coming up. Give me that option. So weird. Would somebody smart please call me and tell me how to work Facebook? Because the last couple of days I would get a notification when somebody came on that I could share their video or invite them to join my video. And, um... Not getting that today, so I don't know if anybody knows how to do that. Maybe you guys just don't want to be seen 7.15 in the morning, 7.14. Uh, so let's get started. You want to pray for us? Um, no. Okay. You to pray. Great, great. I'll pray. Uh, Father, we thank you, Lord, for your, your grace, your love, and uh, we just say good morning to you and ask for you to meet with us. Help us to fix our eyes on you today, God, to... Uh, eagerly await your coming and live for that day in Jesus' name. Heal our land, God, heal uh, your people, Lord. Help us to seek you first in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. All right. Clarkson's, what's up? KK from Beaver Lake. Good to see you. Steve, good morning. Langford's, good morning. Um, Noslers, how are you? Hi, everybody. Zuzu says hi. So, um, yesterday we talked a little bit about living for heaven, right? As we, we think about tomorrow, we live tomorrow for heaven. And, uh, and this morning I was, I was reading um, John 18. Jesus said, this is when he's on trial from, uh, you know, he's about to be crucified and and he's, he's before Pontius Pilate. And he says, My kingdom is not of this world. If my kingdom were of this world, my servants would fight so that I should not be delivered to the Jews. But now my kingdom is not from here. So he doesn't really understand why his own people are, are turning him in. You know, because Pilate basically said, Look, I, I don't see anything wrong with this guy. I don't, I don't see anything that you've done that's worthy of death. But the Jews were the ones who crucified him. Um, in Pilate's eyes, I was very confusing. Jesus saying, look, I, my kingdom is not of this world. Like, I'm not here for a political kingdom. Um, and and so if I were, I wouldn't have been delivered. Things would have worked out differently. Um, so now let's fast forward to Philippians 3. Because we read Philippians 3.20 yesterday. It said, for our citizenship is in heaven, from which we also eagerly wait for the Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ. Okay, so, so there's a heavenly Savior with a heavenly kingdom who's going to come back to this earth and redeem us for a different place, not this earth. And then he says, verse 21, Jesus will transform our lowly body that it may be conformed to his glorious body according to the working by which he is able even to subdue all things to himself. So, 
the next thing he says, and, and a lot of times we miss this because it's a new chapter, but when this was written, he didn't stop a thought and go, okay, now chapter four, this was all the same paragraph. He said, therefore, my beloved and longed for brethren, my joy, my crown, so stand fast in the Lord, beloved. So stand fast. How do we do that? I wanted to kind of talk about, because yesterday we said the promise of heaven should change us, right? If we are living for heaven, if that's true, if Jesus is coming back to redeem us one day, that should change how we live today. And uh, I don't know about you guys, but man, almost every day, probably every day, uh, if I'm honest, I am tempted to, and probably do, a pretty good job of griping about something that has to do with this quarantine. Have you heard me gripe about anything? Complain? Um, yeah. Well, Not every day. Well, at least it's in my heart, okay? <laughs> like, I just have such a tendency to look at things and get sour about, you know, this is happening. Or that. And, and I mean, a lot of times it's stuff that doesn't even affect me, right? I mean, it's it's like higher brass kind of stuff that I'm griping about. And maybe it's just to myself. Maybe I've griped to some of you. I'm sorry. Um, but I think a lot of it has to do with where my focus is, where my, uh, my, my eyes are. And, <clears throat> and I want to read the context of Philippians 3.20 because what, what I want to just share for a minute this morning is how do we... Uh, <laughs> How do we live for heaven? Like, what does that look like? Um, and really, the entire chapter three explains it to us in, in a great way. But, but, um, but let me just read the immediate context. He says, "Brethren, verse seventeen, join in following my example, and note those who so walk, as you have us for a pattern. For many walk, of whom I've told you often, and now tell you even weeping." that they are enemies of the cross of Christ. So, so now it's talking about people who are living for this world, whose, whose kingdom is of this world, okay? They're enemies. He's, he's making this distinction between living for today and this earth and living for tomorrow in heaven, okay? Uh, and where's our citizenship? Like, what do we, uh, who, who's our allegiance to and, and to what? And... And he says, they are enemies of the cross whose end is destruction. Okay, so, so ultimately that, that's what's going to happen. You know, their, their end is destruction. Um, they, they won't spend eternity with Christ. Whose God is their belly. What is that? So in other words, they're living to satisfy the, the one who controls them, who um, has, you know, the final say that... A God is something that you serve, that you worship, right? Their God, the, the thing that they worship and they serve is their belly. It's their appetites. It's what they want right now in this moment, right? So they're just thinking about being satisfied in this world and what they can eat, consume um, right now. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. So what they can eat, drink, what their body can feel in this moment. So their God is their belly, Um and whose glory is in their shame. In other words, what they should be ashamed of, they actually brag about and, you know, look what we're doing, look at this, look at this. Um, and, and then it says, who set their mind on earthly things. I don't know about you, but that last part is, uh, is convicting for me. And, and then he says, verse 24, our citizenship, so it makes this distinction, our citizenship is in heaven. In other words, our mind should be set on heavenly things. We're waiting eagerly for a Savior who's going to transform this lowly body. Like, man, how many of us are so in love with our body? And Paul's saying, look, your body's going to get transformed. Why, why are you thinking about your body? The, the Really, the one thing that, about our body that should concern us is that our body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. I mean, that, that should make the difference when it comes to our body. Um, but, but not it, what I find myself doing a lot of times is, my mind is on earthly things right there at the end of uh, chapter 3, 19, verse 19. And, um, and so, man, I just want to encourage you this morning as you think about this world, as you think about this season, if you're tempted to complain, just ask yourself, is my mind on earthly things or heavenly things? 
uh, because I think a lot of times my mind gets on earthly things. I'm griping and complaining about quarantine and all these different things, but man, eternally speaking, this is an incredible opportunity that we have in, in so many ways. I mean, so many ways. For one, I wouldn't be doing this online with you guys if we weren't in quarantine. I guarantee it. Like, I, I'm not a big fan of Facebook. I just, I just don't understand it. I obviously I'm not smart enough to work it. I was explaining that earlier, um, but th there's so many great eternal things that are coming out of the season, and and I just think God is challenging me to not miss those things. But if I'm earthly minded, if I'm just thinking about this world and America and, you know, the Constitution, which those are all good things. Uh, I love our nation. I love those things. And I can get really caught up in things like that and miss the that the point eternally, miss heavenly uh, point and, and miss the fact that, um, man, my citizenship is in heaven. What are the things? <laughs> what are the things that... Uh, this is an opportunity for eternally. And, uh, and so anyway, that's, that's it today. Let me just challenge you, man, let that word sink in a little bit. Um, is our mind set on earthly things or do we eagerly wait for the savior? Does that change us? Um, is, is our God, our belly, in other words, like just temporary things or is our God, the one that we serve and worship and that changes us? Is it Christ and is it for eternity? You know, where's our treasure? Where, where's the thing that that uh, affects our everyday wor work and our everyday life and desires and all those things? Because, man, I, I can get way too earthly focused and uh, I'm, I'm sorry for that. But anyway, um, the offer still stands. If you understand how to use Facebook and you can explain some things to me, how to get some other videos on here, please tell me. Love to do that. Um, get some other people split screen we could have a dialogue like we could make this a split screen right here <laughs> hey what's up so um anything you want to share um no that's great <laughs> what were you reading this morning matthew five sixteen. what did it say it said in the same way let your light shine among others so that they may see your but they may see your good works and praise your father in heaven. Yeah, cool. It's a good word. I like it. <laughs> you wanna share anything about that? Um I figured out that we're lights. Mm hmm Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> That's good. My siblings are crazy. What? That's probably true. Uh hey, we love you guys. Bye. Have a great day.